I was talking to somebody in an email and they were asking me um, asking me if some procedure that somebody used would work to get to the fifth dimension said 5d slash source so first of all source and merging with source and 5d and I think Elsa said in meeting gods well source 5d and meeting gods uh, those are all different places so first of all and secondly um, your path that you're going to take for all of this is unique to you uh, we are part of the one and it would be a waste of time for us to as one just repeat ourselves because you are you you and I are one so the point is not for us to uh, be born on this planet and forget that we're gods and live in duality and follow a rule book and get back to where we came from that is not the point because that was that would be extremely redundant and because we are all one once you did it one way that becomes um, a part of us all so what is being done here and everywhere is unique to you and it is coming up with that unique path, that unique perspective, that unique creation, that unique experience that is the point. It is is the point. That's the reasons why uh, religions don't work. That's the reason why religions fail. Is you can't give somebody a rule book and say, follow these rules and you're going to become enlightened. It won't work. Because we're so unique, we're so different, we come from so many different places with so many different beliefs that you can't plug it in like that. It's not that simple. So your path is unique to you and it's your responsibility. Now fortunately for all of us, there is no right way and wrong way. There is just your way. And your way will be unique to you. And that will add to the all that is and become a part of us all. You see? So your path is important, however you do it, wherever you go, uh, however you create it, however you experience it, it will be unique to you. And that is the point. That is the point. It's supposed to be that way. Now, we can share things with each other, as I hope we do. Um, that's why I like you to do the video, so that you can share with each other what your path is was and that can give us hints that can give us uh, ways to try to do things but the religions with their rule books have always failed uh, they do not <laughs> they do not create enlightened people they've created fearful people very fearful people whereas the old ways that were from what would be called earth magics uh, crystals and candles and incense and what they were doing was they were getting people to concentrate on the vibration of the planet and to go through that to that quiet little voice inside of you that is your higher self that is tied to the all that is all that we all are that always has the answers so although that little tiny spark that little tiny voice is always there there's never a judgment against you or anyone else on whether or not they listen to that little tiny voice or not. Because if you don't listen to the voice, the experience that you have going away from that little voice is just as important as heading towards that little voice. It's the experience that matters. It's that experience that counts. So I wanted you all to know that. You, the reason why I don't I answer your questions about what I saw and what I, I I try to be as clear as I can on how things work to make it easier for you. Ultimately, my biggest uh, message to you guys is uh, don't be afraid of death and you can't do it wrong and um, be happy. Be happy. Uh, you always, you will get there eventually if you get happier and happier and happier. But I don't give you a lot of a whole lot of rules as to exactly how to do that because it's different for each and every one of us 
every moment of every day. What's going to make me a little bit happier tomorrow is not going to make you a little bit happier tomorrow, right? But it is that uniqueness that makes us who we are. That's how you add to the whole. And that's what you came here for. You, you came for a, a, to make a, a difference. You are different. Everyone is different. And what you do matters. And no matter how you do it. Now, for me personally, I am just feeling, I have just been out running around today like a crazy person out in the woods. I went and saw the eye doctor and found out my glasses and contacts are way off, which means that I can buy ones and be able to read a book again. Yay! Because I've been working really hard on trying to correct my vision. Uh, but the trouble when, when you have really, really bad vision, when you consciously go to correct that, I still have to put on glasses or contacts every day. <laughs> and that tells me, you know, it's basically saying, well, I don't believe that you've got perfect vision. I believe that you need glasses or contacts to myself, right? So that messes the, the, the vision back up again. And my vision is so bad and I'm not that sure of it. I'm not sure enough of enough in it and in myself yet to say, take off the glasses. Your vision is perfect and it is so. Although I know that I could do that if I just get the belief behind the intention. But the point here is that uh, I have changed my eyesight tremendously over the last uh, five, six years. So now I can get new ones and I believe I will be able to read like a book again, which I've missed that terribly. And I can feel the lower vibrations on the planet dropping away from me. I feel much, much better, much happier, uh, moving much smoother because I can feel those uh, lower vibrations dropping away from me personally. I hope you guys are having the same feelings. Uh, it feels so much better. It just makes me want more and more and more, right? <laughs> and it's only a couple weeks away from my trip, and I'll be able to meet all of you in person. That will be wonderful. So, yeah, for that, I just wanted to cover that your, your trip is unique to you, guys. It's unique to you, and uh, it's your job. That's your job, to have an experience, add it to the whole, and make it unique to you. Now, if you're going to listen to me, I want you to be happier. I really do. I I know this is a struggle here, and I get why they play the game. I, I know why they do, but, uh, yeah, I think a lot of us are ready to go home now or for it to ease up, and for me, that's definitely started to happen a lot faster over the last two weeks. It's been very slow since 2012, but it has been moving, but it's been very slow. But this last couple of weeks has been uh, very, very fast. So uh, hopefully you guys are feeling the same thing. All right. Okay. Well, I guess that's it on this one. I'll talk to y'all later. Huge hugs. And I love you so much. Bye-bye now.